Oh, hi there. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. All right, real talk. Um, I just want to preface this this rant that I'm about to have with this. These are strictly my opinions. Most of them, I'm sure you guys share. But you're completely welcome to have your own opinion, even though you're fucking wrong. You know, the opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. They all stink. It's a silly little uh, metaphor for it, but it's true. As soon as I hit that record button, every fucking time, every time, God fucking, fucking, but um, I, I want to talk to you guys about, about YouTubing in general, about being a YouTuber. It is the most saturated market of any kind of career, if you want to call it that. When you start out, it isn't a career, it's a hobby. It's a hobby for anybody who has less than 10,000 subscribers because you're not making anything. You're literally spending hours upon hours upon hours for free. And this is kind of a kind of tying into like PewDiePie's thing where people were given a bunch of shit for making 7 point something million dollars in 2014 and people don't realize that for I think his first 2 years he made nothing. He spent, you know, countless hours on top of going to college and working making stupid ass videos and doing it for free making people laugh for free entertaining for free I don't know a single a single comedian rather that would do that for free for two years that's basically an internship I don't I don't understand why people are giving him so much shit but that kind of ties back into to what I'm talking about with YouTube and basically don't be a don't be a piece of shit um, I'm gonna link you link or have right up here somewhere uh, heard zombies video on you know what not to do how not to advertise and his video is amazing it tells you exactly what you don't need to do what you shouldn't do but um, what I want you guys to understand is that subscribers don't mean a thing if you've got zero views on your channel but you have a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers people are gonna look at you and go oh his content sucks their content's terrible and they're never gonna check you out again that's just how it works so what I want people to to start doing is ask people to check out your channel and if someone messages back with oh I'll subscribe message them back as quick as you can and say no please don't don't just subscribe I do not want the number if you're not gonna stick around because it's useless obviously don't say that because it's offensive but it's 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 literally a useless number they might check out one of your videos and just go okay he just wants me to subscribe and they'll never check you out again because they've got Jacksepticeye, they've got Markiplier, they've got PewDiePie, Cinematos, Ken, KSI, they've got so many guys to look at you know why are they looking at yours they're just gonna hit that subscribe button and never watch you again and that's why I usually send back a message saying hey if you if you like this stuff feel free to subscribe if you don't want to you know if you're not gonna stick around don't bother subscribing I'm not gonna be offended trust me and that's gotten a lot of feedback you know good feedback now what I want people to to kind of realize is that don't send a message that says sub me like I literally just got a message where's it at like just got a message today follow me nothing else just follow me for what I don't even know you I don't know what you do why the fuck am I gonna follow you and it's it's at an or I'll get like someone sending me another link and it's like I'm not gonna click that link what I usually do with this shit is I go and I unfollow the person if I follow them or I block them because I don't want to deal with that shit I've got way too much time to to spend doing YouTube my own job my wife my family to bother wasting time with people that are just here to waste my time it's like this one right here can you please subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm really close to a hundred and I need your help for what a hundred is not what is that hundred gonna do is it gonna help you make better videos at 100 subscribers than it would at 10 subscribers? Fuck no. I can tell you from experience, 10 to 100, my videos sucked a dick. They sucked. The only time they started getting better is when I started getting feedback that wasn't always positive. And I could reflect on that, and I could see what they were talking about, and I didn't get offended. And that's another big fucking thing, oh my god. If you guys, if someone ever asks for feedback, or asks you to check out their channel and you say hey I'll give you feedback uh, Kyle he told me about this uh, or posted a picture he gave the person feedback and they were like oh thanks I guess excuse what you asked for oh my god 
that's the kind of shit that irritates me is it's people think that they have their shit don't stink and that they have the hottest fucking channel on the planet and they're and when you go and look at the channel it's fucking roblox at 10 frames a second in fucking 1280p not even fitting the full box with fucking audio that sounds like this today we're playing roblox and we're gonna go and find do a roblox map of uh, stuff and subscribe and it's that's that that kind of stuff that really it makes youtube look like a piece of shit it may because it's saturated with people like that I'm not saying every Roblox community is a piece of shit, but I'm sorry, Roblox, what is Roblox? It looks like a fucking Minecraft Lego clone bullshit. I mean, it looks cool, like the, the concept is cool, I should say, but it's just, what what is it that's special? I, I don't know. And it, I'm sorry, if your fucking computer can't run that game, don't record it. Don't record it, okay? YouTube takes quite a bit of startup money. I mean, it goes from building a computer which can take anywhere from... 600 bucks to 1500 bucks and then there's buying your programs you know whether you use Vegas Pro Premiere Pro uh, fucking even Windows fucking what is it Windows Movie Maker you can make a video look good with Windows Movie Maker if you know what you're doing but that's what I'm saying is that these programs themselves I think cost like fucking I don't know if they have a subscription or what but they're expensive and then there's you know there's your your photo editing for your thumbnails and then there's the video games themselves I've spent probably three thousand to four thousand dollars just starting this up between the computer, my mic, my mic stand, pop filter, the webcam I'm talking to you on, the fucking stand for my webcam, my monitors, my studio lighting, keyboard, fucking mouse. This shit's expensive, by the way. This is, don't. If you ever see a, a keyboard that, uh, that that that's over a hundred dollars, better give you a fucking blowjob. But all these, all these kids, they sit there in front of their fucking, their piece of shit laptop or something that their parents got them for Christmas with the webcam mic and they breathe into it like we can't hear them when really all they need to do is talk like normal, pull up Audacity, which is a free program by the way, if you don't use it, get it. And it basically does all the editing for you with the audio as long as you know what you're doing. All you, what I do, this is exactly what I do. I noise remove all the background noise, which is usually none, but I still like to just make sure I remove it. I normalize my voice, that brings the spikes down, kind of evens out everything. I compress the audio to help make the quieter parts pop. I equalize it to bring up the treble to, my, to make it not sound so bassy, and then I normalize it one more time and I plus two on the gain. So it sounds nice and crisp, that's why when you guys hear my audio, it's, always, it's not usually muffled and shitty, unless I'm being really lazy. But it's it's always sounds nice, and when I hear people who have audio like like this and just talk like this in the mic for 15 fucking minutes in a video with no fucking editing, I immediately click it off because that person has put forth no effort, and I'm not gonna waste any time. To steal Hurt Zombies analogy, how the fuck do you expect to sell a cheeseburger when you run up to somebody's face and say, "Eat it! Here's a burger. Eat it. Eat the fucking burger." I'm gonna slap that right out of the dude's hand for the fuck out of my face because that's not how you advertise. You advertise by saying, again, stealing his analogy, I'll probably have it right here. Um, hey, I make uh, YouTube videos. If you're bored, check them out. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. If you dig what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. That's all you need. If they ask for a link, post one. Usually people will ask for a link because everybody's really lazy to go and click on your name, which is not a big deal. But that's just, that's how simple it needs to be. It needs to be, instead of this, check mine out, check mine out, check mine out, check mine out, it needs to be, hey, if you got some time, give it a look. Because th that kills 10 minutes checking out somebody's channel, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the video. Whereas subscribing, it's a commitment, and what I mean by that is they're committing to the subscribe button but they're never gonna watch your stuff again so it's a fake commitment and then another thing which um, a lot of my YouTube friends get shit on for by other people is advertising our channels legend fairy she actually just got shit on the other day by this guy who she sent on you know her advertisement message went out saying hey thanks for following check out my channel blah blah blah, blah. and the dude gave her hate for it talk so much shit telling her that she needs to stop what she's doing and she needs to just make videos and not advertise how the fuck do you expect to get noticed at all 
I mean, there's there's no way. If you post out your videos, there are tens upon thousands of channels out there that make video game content because that's the most popular thing to make right now. How the fuck do you expect to get noticed without advertising your channel and letting people know, hey, I'm here, please notice me. And uh, how do you expect people to notice you if you're not doing that, if you're not screaming from the fucking rooftops? They're not. So I posed this question. How do you know when the newest video game's out? And he proceeded to say, what are you talking about? And I said, how do you know when the newest video game's out? How do you know when the newest movie's out? And he's like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? And I was like, well, I'll tell you what that has to do with this. They buy advertisement slots for TV that I'm sure you watch. And what they do with those advertisement slots is advertise their new product. Because that's the only way you're going to get your new product noticed. If no one advertised anything, no products would get bought. And I told this to him because he bitched about getting the same message or something like that. I said, and you cannot fucking tell me that you have not seen the same message or the same ad more than once on TV or YouTube for that matter. Or even Twitch because he was a Twitch user. And he proceeded to block me because he didn't like what I had to say. So basically take that and then you'll understand why most YouTubers have to advertise their channels. Big ones don't. You know, that's just like Call of Duty having to advertise more than once. They don't really. They go to E3, say, hey, we got a new one coming out, fucking buy it. Throw it at you and you'll buy it. With the smaller YouTubers, we have to. That's the only way we get noticed. That's the only way we can sit there and, and feel like our content's actually being watched. If not, we'd have no views and we'd no, there'd be no new YouTubers. And it would be the same ten guys. So basically, that's, that's my rant on this. Um, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I hope you guys can take something away from it. Uh, again, Herd Zombies channel is going to be linked below, same with Legend Fairies, uh, so you can give them a look, let them know what's going on, you know, let them know that, hey, it's not all, we're not all pieces of shit. Alright guys, I'm King Midas, I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video.